Every kicker will face adversity that shakes their very foundation. Some will fail and others will persevere. Dustin Hopkins faced such a trial early in his career, but he overcame it all as he learned to put his faith not in his golden toe, but in a golden promise. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. It's often said that a man can see himself in a verse. Just a few short sentences somehow give the right words at that very moment when a man needs them the most. Through the good and the bad, Dustin Hopkins' football career has been illuminated by Psalm 34. In my mind coming into college, I kind of picture myself having a lot of good moments, but you know, you don't really think of, of uh, the bad moments in the future. You know, you try not to um, picture those things happening because sometimes they'll come to fruition. In what can be the loneliest position in all of sports, Hopkins has endured those moments that kickers have nightmares about, when the cheering stops and the silence begins. Carolina digs in, they're begging for a block. Good snap, good hold, the kick is airborne, airborne. Long enough, long enough, long enough, long enough. It no. is no good, and the Tar Heels have held serve, and they come to Tallahassee and knock off Florida State. Dustin Hopkins misses two tonight. That's a heartbreaker for Dustin Hopkins. It was frustrating knowing that you kind of feel like you let down, uh, you know, your teammates, didn't represent your family. You, you wanted to play well for the university. You want to do all those things. And knowing that you didn't do that and you had the opportunity, and it's something that you pride yourself on as a kicker, but like being, being clutch and being um, able to capitalize on your opportunities because you only get so many. But in that moment where the world could not get any smaller and the future seemed uncertain, came hope Something changed as soon as he walked off the field. Psalm 34 became more real to him than ever. Right after the game, I mean, immediately, I mean, I don't even think he showered. He was just, he's actually sitting in his locker and reading the Bible. I mean, he was just, that's what he was doing. He was sitting there. I mean, he found, you know, his peace with God after, you know, his mess up. And he went back to what he knows, and that's his religion. He went back there and, you know, felt comfortable again. I had, that, I had that small picture, just a little snapshot. I didn't have the big picture. I didn't see how, how God was going to work through the whole thing. And it would work just as Psalm 34 described. Hopkins did not need to see the kick in order to believe. He had faith that something would come. Just one week later, his answer came like thunder through his golden right foot. Between the hash marks, the attempt, good snap, good hold. Here's the kick. He's got the distance. He's got the distance. And yeah! on a last second field goal. How about Dustin Hopkins and the golden toe? 16-13 is your final. You know, some, some kickers don't get the opportunity to hit another game winner for, you know, for three years, for two years, or it, maybe never. I was just praying for the opportunity again. I wanted it the next week. I was like, like God, I just want that opportunity again. You just want to overcome that fear of like, I don't want to be afraid to, to fail. You know, I was praying, I said, you know, Lord, allow me to glorify you through this kick, and that's it, you know, um, whether it's a make or a miss, um, like, I know, I know you're going to be glorified through this. What makes Hopkins unique is that the outcome does not phase him. The records and accolades will fade, but his impact on teammates, fans, and family will last for a lifetime. We were sitting at home, and uh, we have uh, chapel, you know, on game day, every, you know, every game day, and, uh, Trey was sitting at the house with, with Candy and I, and he said, Mom, can I take my Bible to, with the team? And she said, why? She said, well, I want to take it to chapel. She said, why? What? That's great. What made you think of that? She said, Dustin brings his Bible every day, and he reads out of it, and I would like to be able to read when Clint goes through the scriptures and be able to do that. My son, who's 11, wants to take his Bible to our team when he's out there playing ball, running with the players, so he can have it during chapel. Now, if that's not an influence on people, when you talk about a person as an athlete, him as a student and then him as an individual and what he is and he's such a, he's such a great Christian and man of God and the influence he can have on little kids. I mean, that, to me, that speaks volumes of Dustin there and what he stands for. It was just awesome seeing how, how many opportunities that gave me to speak to like different churches or schools or FCA groups, whatever it may be, um, because of that miss even more so than the make. 
I wrote down, I was like, I don't want to just be another kicker. I want to, I want to set records is what I wrote. It's, it's very much a blessing being on this end and seeing the highs and lows that the Lord has brought me through and uh, how that's helped me grow and uh, just the person I am as well as player and just help develop my character through adversity. It's, it's just been uh, very rewarding on the back end. Less than one year later, Hopkins set records. He is now the NCAA leader in career field goals made, both Florida State and the Atlantic Coast Conference's all-time scoring leader, and holds the career scoring record in the NCAA among kickers. But his definition does not come from those accolades or awards. They are merely an example of what it means to persevere, to trust, and to be part of a bigger picture. For somebody to come in and not change at all the whole time he was here, like just stand firm in what he believed in and not let anything like sway him. That's what a lot of people don't realize is like how strong like his faith is. You know, sometimes it's hard to see the big picture when you're in the moment in, in those, those tough times, but you know, when you can kind of step back and see um, all the steps and all the little things and the people and, and uh, that had a part in making you who you are over a four year period in college, it's, uh, it's just, it's, all I can say is a very much a blessing. Hopkins' legacy at Florida State will be greater than just football and extends beyond this field. In every situation, every game, every moment, Hopkins triumphed because he played for something greater than himself. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Hopkins is now hard at work training for April's NFL Draft, but no matter where football may take him, he will always bleed garnet and gold.